Okay, let's bring in the apparent Democratic nominee for president, former Vice President Joe Biden. Mr. Vice President, thank you for coming on the show this morning. We have Happy to be a with lot you. we want to ask <coughs> you this morning. Okay. Joe and Willie will join in just a moment for questions on how you would handle this pandemic, the campaign, and other news of the day. But at the start, it's just going to be you and me. And I want to get right to the allegation made against you by Tara Reid. So the former Senate aide accuses you of sexual assault. And please, uh, to our viewers, please excuse the graphic nature of this, but I want to make sure that there is no question as to what we're talking about. She says in 1993, Mr. Vice President, that you pinned her against the wall and reached under her clothing and penetrated her with your fingers. Would you please go on the record with the American people? Did you sexually assault Tara Reid? No, it is not true. I'm saying unequivocally, it never, never happened. And it didn't. It never happened. Do you remember her? Do you remember any any types of complaints that she might have made? I don't remember any type of complaint she <clears throat> may have made. It was 27 years ago. And uh, I don't remember, nor does anyone else that I'm aware of. And uh, the fact is that I don't remember. I, I, I don't remember any complaint ever having been made. Have you or your campaign, have you reached out to her? No, I have not reached out to her. It's 27 years ago. There, this never happened. And uh, when she first made the claim, we made it clear that it never happened. And uh, that's as simple as that. In the past 30 minutes or so, you released a statement on Medium. And among other things, you, you, you write this. There's only one place a complaint of this kind could be, the National Archives. I am requesting that the Secretary of State ask of uh, the Senate ask the archives to identify any record of the complaint she alleges she filed. If there was any such complaint, the record will be there. Are you preparing us for a complaint that might be revealed in some way? Are you confident there is nothing? I'm confident there's nothing. No one ever brought it to the attention of me 27 years ago. This is any assertion at all. No one that I'm aware of in my campaign, at, or excuse me, my, my Senate office at the time, is aware of any such uh, request and, uh, uh, or any such complaint. Uh, and, uh, and so the, I, 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 I'm not worried about it at all. If there is a complaint, that's where it would be. That's where it would be filed. And if it's there, put it out, but I've never seen it. No one has that I'm aware the, of. The New York Times has investigated this exhaustively. They didn't find uh, any of your former staff members were able to corroborate the details of this allegation. She did file a police report uh, a few weeks ago with the D.C. police. Um, but since you want to set the record straight, um, why limit this only to Tara Reid? Why not release any complaints that it may, had been made against you during your Senate career? I'm prepared to do that. There, the best of my knowledge, there's been no complaints made against me in terms of my Senate career, in terms of my office, and anything that's been run. Look, this is an open book. There's nothing for me to hide. Nothing at all. You were unequivocal, uh, Mr. Vice President, back in 2018 during the Kavanaugh controversy and hearings. And um, you said that women should be believed. You said this, for a woman to come forward in the glaring lights of focus nationally, you've got to start off with the presumption that at least the essence of what she is talking about is real. Whether or not she forgets the facts, whether or not it's been made worse or better over time. She's going to be going on national television on Sunday. Tara Reid is coming forward in the glaring lights. To use your words, should we not start off with the presumption that the essence of what she's talking about is real? She says you sexually assaulted her. Look, from the very beginning, I've said believing women means taking the woman's claim seriously when she steps forward and, and then vet it, look into it. This, this, that, that's true in this case as well. Women have a right to be heard and, to, and the press should rigorously investigate claims they make. I'll always uphold that principle. But in the end, in every case, the truth is what matters. 
And in this case, the truth is the claims are false. Is it possible these claims are held in an NDA? Do you have any NDAs that have been signed by women who were employed by you? I have, there is no NDA sign, and no, no one's ever signed. I've never asked anybody to sign an NDA. There are no NDAs, period, in my case. None. Your Senate documents at the University of Delaware were supposed to go public, and then they were resealed. The access was changed. I know that you're saying any HR complaints could be in the National Archives, but why not reveal your Senate documents that are uh, being held in Delaware? I know there's 1,800-plus boxes. Um, but if, if, if she believes and she alleges that the complaints may be hidden there, why not strive for complete transparency? Why was the access to those documents sealed up when they were supposed to be revealed? Well, they weren't supposed to be revealed. I gave them the university. The university said it's going to take them time to go through all the boxes. They said it wouldn't be, and that wouldn't be before 2020 that that occurred, or 2021. I can't remember the year they said. But look, a record like this can only be one place. It would be at the. It would not be at the University of Delaware. My archives do not contain personal files. My archives contain document. And I said, as when I say personal personnel files, they don't contain any personnel files. They are public records. My speeches, my papers, my position papers. And mm -hmm. if that document existed, it would be stored in the National Archives, where documents from the office she claims to have filed her complaint with are stored. That's where those, they are stored. The Senate controls those archives. So I'm asking the Secretary of the Senate today to identify whether any such document exists. If it does, make it public. Right. But there are claims and concerns and um, reports in Business Insider, and she claims that possibly a complaint or some sort of record of this might be at the University of Delaware. So for complete transparency, uh, why not push for the release of any documents with Tara Reid's name on them, whether it's at the University of Delaware or the National Archives? First of all, let's get this straight. There, is, there are no personnel documents, but you can't do that. You wouldn't, for example, if you worked with me or I worked for you and you had my, my income tax returns, you had my well, whatever, they're, they're private documents. They're not for the, they don't, they don't get put out in the public. So they're not part of the public record that in fact is uh, that any senator or vice president or president has in their documents. If, Look, there was one place that she could file the complaint, and the plaint and that office at the time was all those records from that office are in the archives, and they're controlled by the Senate. That's where personnel documents would be if they exist. That's where the complaint would be if it exists. Given the fact that you have said in the past that if a woman goes under the lights and talks about something like this, we have to consider that the essence of this is real. Is the essence of what she is saying is real? Why do you think she's doing this? I'm not going to question her motive. I'm not going to get into that at all. I don't know why she's saying this. I don't know why after 27 years, all of a sudden, this gets raised. I don't understand it. But I'm not going to go in and question her motive. I'm not going to attack her. She has a right to say whatever she wants to say. But I have a right to say, look at the facts. Check it out. Find out whether any of the, what she says is asserted or true. And based on the investigations that have taken place so far, to the best of my knowledge, by two major papers, they interviewed dozens of my staff members, not just senior staff, but staff members, I'm told. At least that's what they said. And yes. nobody. That this was not the atmosphere in my office at all. No one has ever said anything like this. But, Mr. Vice President, as it pertained to Dr. Ford, everyone wanted, uh, high level Democrats said she should be believed, that they believed it happened. You said if someone like Dr. Ford were to come out, the essence of what she is saying has to be believed, has to be real. No. Why? And no, what I why? said, it has why to be. Why is it real for Dr. Ford, but not for Tara Reid? There, because the facts are that, look, she, I'm not suggesting she had no right to come forward. And I never, and I'm not saying any woman, they should come forward. They should be heard. And then it should be investigated. It should be investigated. 
And if there's anything that makes it that is consistent with what's being said and she makes the case or the case is made, then it should be believed. But ultimately, the truth matters. The truth matters. It's period. I fought my entire life to change, to change the whole notion of the law and the cultural sexual uh, around the culture around sexual assault. And I fought to strengthen and mm -hmm. protect the process for survivors. I believe we've come a long way and we have a long way to go in this system before we, in fact, are in a position that there's a fair and unbiased view. But uh, at the end of the day, it has to be looked at. These claims are not true. There's no cooperation. I mean, they're not true. Mr. Vice President. I don't know what else I can uh, say to you. Well, uh, I'm going to try and ask many different ways. Uh, Stacey Abrams uh, said during the Kavanaugh hearings, I believe women, I believe survivors of assault should be supported and the voice is heard. Kirsten Gillibrand tweeted, do we believe women? Do we give them the opportunity to tell their story? We must be a country that says yes every time. They now both support you. Nancy Pelosi falls into this category, too, as well as many other leaders in the Democratic Party. Are women to be, be believed? Are women to be believed unless it pertains to you? <laughs> Look, women are to be believed given the benefit of the doubt. If they come forward and say something that is ex that they said happened to them, they should start off with the presumption they're telling the truth. Then you have to look at the circumstances and the facts. And the facts in this case do not exist. They never happened. And there's so many inconsistencies in what has been said in this case. So you just look at the facts. And I assure you, it did not happen. Period. Period. But why is it different now? Do you regret what you said during the Kavanaugh hearings? What I said during the Kavanaugh hearings was that she had a right to be heard. And the fact that she came forward, the presumption would be she's telling the truth unless it's proved she wasn't telling the truth. Or not proved, Are unless it's clear from the facts surrounding it, it's not the truth. As we look, this uh, is a very. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Please. No, no, that's as all. As we await for the records from the National Archives, are you absolutely certain? Are you absolutely positive there is no record of any complaint by Tara Reid against you? I am absolutely positive that no one that I'm aware of ever has been made aware of any complaint, a formal complaint made by or a complaint by Tara Reid against me at the time this allegedly happened 27 years ago or until the, I announced for pre well, it was, I guess it was in April or May of this year. I know of no one who's aware that any complaint was made. I've got two more Nor questions. Has the first. OK, please go ahead. The first is no, no, about your it. University of Delaware records. Do you agree with the reporting that those records were supposed to be revealed to the public and then they were resealed for a longer period of time until after you leave, quote, public life? And if you agree with that, if that's what happened, why did that happen? Because, look. The fact is that there's a lot of things that of speeches I've made, positions I've taken, interviews that, that that I did overseas with people, all of those things relating to my job. And the idea that they would all be made public in the fact while I was running for public office, they could be really taken out of context. The papers are position papers. They are documents that existed and, and uh, that that when I, for example, when I go, when I met with Putin or when I met with whomever and all of that to be fodder in a campaign at mm -hmm. this time, I don't know of anybody who's done anything like that. And so the National Archives is the only place there would be anything having to do with personal records. There are no personnel records in the Biden papers mm -hmm. at the university. So uh, personnel records aside, are you certain there was nothing about Tara Reid in those records? And if so, I am absolutely certain. Why not? Why not approve a search of her name in those records? Approve a search of her name. Yes. And reveal well, anything not... that might be related to Tara Reid in the University of Delaware records. There is nothing. They wouldn't. They're, they're not there. And if they, if it's, I, 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 you know, I don't understand what you're, the point you're trying to make. 
The point there I'm are trying no to make personnel is that records you by are, definition. The point I'm trying to make is that you are approving and actually calling for a search of the National Archives records of uh, yes. anything pertaining to Tara Reid. I'm asking why not do the same in the University of Delaware records, which have raised questions because they were supposed to be re revealed to the public and then they were sealed for a longer period of time. Why not do it for both sets of records? Because the material in the University of Delaware has no personnel files and it has, but it does have a lot of confidential conversations that I had with the president about a particular issue that I had with the heads of state of other places, that that would not be something that would be revealed while I was in public office or while I was seeking public office. It just stands the reason, the best of my knowledge, no one else has done that either. I'm, I'm just talking about her name, not anybody else in those records. A search for that. Wow. Nothing classified with you... the president or anybody else. I'm just asking why not do a search for Tara Reid's name in the University of Delaware records? Look, I mean, who, who, who does that search? The University of Delaware, uh, perhaps you set up a commission that can do it. I don't know. Whatever is the fairest way to no. create the most transparency. Well, this is, look, Mika, she said she filed a report. She has her employment records still. She said she refiled a report with the only office that would have a report in the United States Senate at the time. If the report was ever filed, it was filed there, period. If you could speak directly to Tara Reid about her claims or anything, what would you say? I would, this never, ever happened. I don't know what is motivating her. I don't know what, I don't know what's behind any of it, but it's irrelevant. It never happened. It never happened. Period. I'm not going to start questioning her, 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 her motive. I'm not going to get into that. I'm not going to start. I'm not going to go after Tara Reid for saying these things. It's simple. What are the facts? Do any of the things she said, do they add up? It never happened. Mr. Vice President, stay with us. Uh, we're going to take a one minute break um, and then Joe and Willie will join with questions on other news of the day. We're back uh, with the former Vice President Joe Biden in one minute. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.